Good morning, friends. I sure do miss you. I cannot wait until we can all be back together again. You know, I want to talk to you this morning about how to be worry free. I know with everything that's been going on over these past few months that it's just basic human nature to, to worry. But I want to give you some practical steps today. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. That verse changed my life. There was a point in my life where I was a worry wart, but I'm telling you that God used that verse to change my life, and it was the very first verse that I ever memorized as a brand new Christian. And so we're going to break it down. I want to take it phrase by phrase. First, what is kingdom of God? Well, it's defined by the Gospel Coalition in eight simple words, and that is God's reign through God's people over God's place. Isn't that great? And what an easy way to remember that. God is king over all. He sits on his throne, and he rules and reigns according to his purpose and according to his perfect plan for all of us. The second phrase, his righteousness, is that which is right and just. It is his holiness being set apart. God will do what is right and best for us. He always knows what is best. And we can seek first his kingdom, knowing that he knows what is best and will do that for us. And then the third phrase, and all these things will be added unto you. What things? Well, this is where we go back and we look at the context of the scripture because chapter six is right in the middle of what we today call the Sermon on the Mount, which was Jesus preaching to the masses. And so in chapter uh, 26, he devotes um, uh, verses 25 through 34 to the topic of worry. And so when you go back and look at those verses, you see that he's talking about what we eat, what we drink, what we wear. He's talking about our body, not to worry about any of those things. Why? because he knows what our needs are and he will provide. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is the Lord who provides. And sometimes he provides in the most unexpected ways as we trust him and place our faith in him. And you know what? We can't change anything by worrying. Not one thing. That's what verse 27 tells us. And the definition of worry is that it's a state of anxiety and uncertainty over actual or potential problems. It's allowing our minds to dwell on the difficulty. Well, with that def definition, doesn't it make sense then that instead of dwelling on the difficulty, that we would dwell on God and his word, his righteousness, knowing that all of our needs are going to be provided for us. And so I want to suggest to you a few practical things that you can do to be worry-free. First of all, Write them down. Think about those things that you're worried about and make a list. Write them down. Number two, list them one by one to the Lord in prayer and confession. Say to the Lord, I'm worried about these things, Father, but I trust you and know that you will provide. Number three, tell him you're casting those things at his feet, knowing that he cares for you. And then, and here's the hard part. You've got to let it go. You've got to let it go. And number four, after you've done that, after you've prayed and confessed, if you catch yourself focusing on difficulties, either um, real difficulties or potential difficulties, what you need to do is capture your thoughts to the obedience of Christ. Give those things back to him. Redirect your focus back to the things of the Lord in his word. And number five, spend your time studying the Bible. I promise you, reading the Bible is good, but we need to study it. We need to dig in and see what God has to say to us personally through his word as we look at the history that is given to us on the pages of scripture. And number six, stay busy going about the Lord's business. Stay busy going about the Lord's business. What has he called you to? What is he, uh, what instruction has he given you to follow? Stay busy doing those things. 
And I promise you that if you will practice these things, you know, it's going to take more than once probably. You, you need to practice them. And I promise that over a period of time, you will be worry-free. It happened for me, and I know it can happen for you. And then finally, before I close, I want to tell you, if you want to print out the list, I've provided that for you uh, this week. Uh, go to the Groves First Baptist Church website, click on the women's page, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a link there where you can download what I've talked about today. And so God bless you, and I pray you have just an awesome week.